Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah We're making Thursday things. We're making Thursday things. We're making Thursday. Yeah. Anyway, today is the last things we're making Thursday for June. And I am all rainbowed up. That was a lot of hair. I guess it's growing. Doesn't seem like it, but I guess it is. And off topic, as usual, for Mel's channel. Welcome to Lethalia's Little Hook with Melanie. I am your hostess, Mel. I don't usually say stuff like that, but weird as normal. So, oh look, rainbow, and it says proud ally. So, one of my many shirts that says something as I like them to talk. As I talk. Welcome to my channel, if you're new, and welcome back if you're returning. Ruby, stop, baby. Good girl. And you will always hear me talking to my puppers <laughs> in the background. Um, what is Things for Making Thursday? It is a collaboration amongst a lot, a lot of people, and maybe some not people. I don't know. If your cat can crochet or knit or weave whatever they can do with string make things or not string um why not but we pick a theme every month this year we do who knows what we'll do next year anyway um this year it's themes every month. This month's theme was wearables. So this month I got some wearables done and um, I'm proud of that because I don't always get things done. So let's get into it. I have some whips. I have some FOs, which means works in progress and finished objects. And uh, as I was saying, we do, there are some content creators on YouTube who are participate. There are some non-content creators and the way they can get their um, project shown is they can either contact the content creators and say, hey, could you show my pictures in your videos, which I actually have some pictures to show in this video. Or they can go on the Facebook group, which was created by Jenna from Jenna Stitches. And that is linked in the description box if you'd like to join. Um, just a few simple questions or one. Um, and the only reason for that is so that if you post something there, it doesn't link directly back to your regular Facebook uh, name. And then your whole family can see their upcoming Christmas presents. Um, and then the jingle at the beginning was created by Jess from J-Hook Magic and her husband. And that will be with you for another year and a half in your head. When you least expect it, it will pop up and you'll be going. <laughs> oh, dang it. Why is that in my head? And then you'll be like, eh, I don't mind. But yeah, so what did I make? So my whip. Last time you saw me, I was making a baby onesie. And I am still making that baby onesie. And let's get it facing the right way. I am using Premier Cotton Sprout DK. And it is a free pattern. It's called the Ruffled Baby Onesie. And ruffled because see this little ridge right here this little ridge I believe that is where I'll be attaching a ruffled skirt later now they use a color changing acrylic I'm using cotton because I hear it's more washable and babies you will want to wash so I'm just changing as I go as I willy-nilly decide so 
Last time we saw it, it was just into the purple. And now we're into the turquoise. Turquoise. So there we go. And it was also only this back bit. And now we're a whole little, you know, diaper cover. <laughs> so there's that. And I'm enjoying working with the Cotton Sprout. Um, if nobody's worked with it before. Very soft. Very nice. Very wearable. Another, um, my finished object is I finished a hat. This is the Divine Hat. I followed the tutorial by Fiber Spider. So it double dipped into Erin at Crafting Kitty's Creator Spotlight. And I used Barocco Sesame yarn. I really enjoyed working with that yarn too. So, and it fits my head really nice. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping this one. Playful. Serious. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I'm a bit odd. Mm -hmm. So we did that one. Put back on our head, our flowered headpiece, which looks a lot more complicated going on than it is. Mm -hmm. And we're back. And then if we pull our hair back, it looks like we're a 1920s swimmer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then, now, we're, yeah, we started another wearable. We started our fourth pair of knitted socks for the year. Fourth pair. Started. We haven't finished a single pair. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's our, it's Mel's year of socks, knitted socks. Mel's year of knitted socks. It's now the end of June, and I haven't finished a single pair. Yes, Lord help me. Hold on, let me see if I can, without making you move too bad, because they're right. Oh, help my short arms. Help my short arms. I got them. I got them. Now, did I put the socks back? Yeah, I put the socks back in here. Extra yarn. So, I decided because all the other socks I picked had weird heels. I got to the heels on two of them. I have a DK, a fingering weight, and a worsted weight pair. Don't ask me how I did that. But, um, they all have, like, these funky heels. Like, called weird things. And I'm like, my brain has become mush. I don't want to deal with something weird that I have to go back to every time and, and replay the tutorial on the heel just to remember how to do it. So I am doing a vanilla pair of socks with a vanilla heel, you know, and I'm just going to finish the pair of socks and get it done and be like, woohoo, I knitted a pair of socks. I did it. And then I'm going to tackle, tackle the interesting heels. So this is um, my friend Bridget at Queen's Crafts by Bridget um, vanilla sock tutorial. Okay. And I thought I'll do it in the fruits the Premier Fruits yarn so that it has some interest to the sock. So I am on the leg right now. Mm -hmm. And it's going fine because it's just a rib for the cuff and then a knit for the leg. Now I'm probably going to make the leg a little longer because if they're too short they always slide off my heel. I have like no heel so they just slide under my heel. 
So I'm going to I'm going to ask her how much extra yarn she had at the end of the sock because I have a very short foot too, so I should have extra yarn to make a little extra height on the sock. But there's my other wearable whip. So, and I have it in a queen's bag from Bridget, which has so much dog hair. Oh, I shouldn't have shown you that. So much dog hair on it because Ruby gets on everything and it's been on my floor and it makes me feel sad. She'll probably be like, I don't care because she has cats and dogs and they are long hair dogs and you know I'll just throw it, throw it and you know, do a hand wash on it and get it all nice and everything but oh it's it's so fuzzy <laughs> it's, it's like it has its own coat of dog hair but and that's my things for making Thursday and next month is a mega roomy and if you don't know what a megarumi is, it's stuffed animals. So, woohoo! I already have a stuffed animal that is, well, two that are aiming to be made. And now there's a third that might, let's not overwhelm ourselves, shall we? Let's not. But join in. Now, pictures. Okay, right here. First, we are going to do Angela Wright. She has made a top. And it is beautiful. And I don't know what kind of top it is. She just said a top. So, beautiful top by Angela Wright. And it is. It's a little blurry, but you can see how nice it is. Great job, Angela. And then the second one is from my friend Sharon Sutcliffe, who color worked knit. Color work knit a hat. And I am highly jealous because I have not done any color work in knitting yet. Gorgeous hat. I love the color she picked. She says it's the Alaska hat. And I'm wondering if it's from the book um, Knitting the National Parks. Let me know, Sharon. I just love it. Awesome work. And it looks great on her. She said, oh, it's just two colors, so it's not fiddly. I'm sorry. Color work is fiddly no matter what. <laughs> but awesome work. I'm trying to find that book, if that is from that book, in um, physical form, where it's not super expensive. Uh, knitting the National Forests. Um, so let me know if you found it, Sharon. Not in ebook form, but great work, guys, and um, beautiful projects. Join in if you like. I don't always get my videos up Thursday, as you can see when this one's get coming up, but I do get them up. So if you want me to put your pictures in my videos, just email me and I will put them up. Have a wonderful day. Shine bright like the stars you are. And things we're making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday. Bye.